Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. My name is Felita and this is Budgeting with the Mailings. On this channel, we are focused on paying out debt, saving for the future, and building generational wealth. We primarily accomplish those goals through using the cash envelope method along with participating in savings challenges. In today's video, I will be cash stuffing, I think it's a hundred and something, I think $111 I think, into what we're calling our get ahead binder. If that sounds like something you would be interested in, please stay tuned. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Here's the cash. We have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So that's one 11 that we will be working with. Um, and I will go ahead and say uh, this is the weekend, so everyone's home with the exception of my um, older girls. They actually moved out yesterday, so we moved them into their apartment on yesterday. And actually, I think I just got a notification that um, Morgan, my middle daughter, is here. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. But before we start, I just wanted to go ahead and introduce this week's BCL Spotlight Channels. Um, the first is Donna Jo, the second is Happy Me on a Budget, the third is Saving Your Pennies After Budgeting, and the fourth is Vanilla Budget. So let me just say, the first three I am not subscribed to, but I will be before the end of this week, and I will watch playlists and comment and do all those things. The fourth, um, I have actually been following her for a while, so it's really, um, and, and I've said this before with the BCL, it is really exciting for me when I get to... Um, when I'm introduced to some of these channels that I probably would not have known about or would not have been, you know, so since the, this week is, um, you know, their spotlight, I'm going to make sure that I watch, you know, a couple of playlists and, and do all those things. So, um, let's see if there's any other things. Oh, also, please don't forget to check out Kayla over at KT Planning and Budgeting and use the code MEALING10, M-E-A-L-I-N-G, 10, to receive 10% off of your order. Um, I think the end of this month, uh, that code will expire. So if you haven't already done so, please, please, please go ahead and do that. So now, let's go ahead and jump into the video. It's going to be a relatively short video because, um, I don't have very many envelopes to stuff. Um, so the first up is medical and medical is getting five. And as you can see, medical is empty because my son had an appointment, um, this past week, I think it was, and I, you know, used the money that was in here. So we had a uh, copay and we also had to get a prescription fill. So that is it for medical. Um, one month ahead is also getting five. And I think somewhere along the line, I messed up on my, my trackers. I don't think I may have tracked a, a week that I, but anyway, I think I got it situated when I, you know, for this video. So we have 20, 30, $40 in one month ahead. So it's not a lot, but it is coming along. So, uh, next up is Sam's and let's see what the Sam's get. Sam's is getting $2 and FYI, y'all, my daughter, she showed me something. I want to say it was on TikTok. I'm not on social media like that, so. But anyway, I think it was on TikTok. She was saying that at Sam's through today, so if y'all see this video, through today, um, they are giving $8 memberships. But those are for people that have, if they have not had a membership within three years or if they're like new to Sam's. Um, so it wouldn't apply to somebody like me or maybe you if you've already had a membership for a while. But for those, that you know like my my daughters um they were considering it when i was like well no we can say that eight dollars and you can use my membership why don't y'all go get a costco even though they're not you know doing any that i'm aware of anyway they're not doing any promotions but anyway what we have in sam's is 10 11 12 13 14 15 and 16 dollars and i did not write that on my sheet 
um, but I have to, I know I have to be better at keeping up with um, what I have in, in the envelopes because I got a little confused. Uh, birthdays. Birthdays is getting the standard 13. You leaving? Okay. He going with you? Yeah. Okay. So with birthdays, we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 96, 7, 8, 9, 100, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And I haven't decided yet. We, we got my son gifts because it's just not right for you to wake up on your birthday and not have anything. So we did get him some things for his birthday. But like I said, for those of you that haven't watched or are new to my channel, my son had a tournament actually on his birthday. So we didn't do like the big party and all of that, but we did get him some things. But I don't know if I'm going to take some money out of here um, when we do his Disney trip, which is actually his birthday trip, um, to see if he wants to get anything special for his birthday. So I don't know. I'll let you know if, if it... I come on next week and it, or you know after we leave and come back and it's less than you know I, I used it but holidays is getting 13 as well I still haven't um, separated these out but as you can see that um, so the next holiday that we're gonna be celebrating here is the 4th of July we were I guess for the we've been in this house for I think three years no I'm sorry we've been in the house four years and we um we've had a not a big party or celebration or whatever but we do invite close friends and families over and um you know we'll do the whole pool and uh fireworks and all that kind of stuff uh we grill out and we just kind of make a day of it it normally starts at about two and it ends just whenever it ends when we just can't keep our eyes open anymore but um that's typically what we do and i'm just wondering what do you guys do for the fourth of july do you celebrate the fourth of july do you grill out for years and years and years before my husband actually transitioned over to this new position um we would actually vacation during the fourth of july and y'all i hated it the prices were extremely um jacked up because you know of course people are traveling during the holidays um it's just everything you know it was like a, an additional price tag and it was always crowded whenever we would go places because people were off and so now that we're not traveling uh, for the holidays and we just kind of you know hang out at home or you know around the pool and fireworks and that type of thing so just a quick question you know what do you guys do for the fourth do you plan to celebrate do you plan to do anything special or do you just plan to kind of hang out at home so just wondering um we have in holidays 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 95 6 7 8 9 100 1 2 3 and 4 so that is correct so I, I definitely know that i'll be taking some money out of here for some of the things that we need um for the event so p.o box let's see what is p.o box getting i think it's getting five and let's we have 20 30 and 40 dollars for p.o box there's nothing really um going on with p.o box outside of the fact that i just need to figure out if my husband did yearly or six month lease on that quarterly quarterly is getting i think five and I will probably be using some of this uh, money pretty soon because I've seen a couple of challenges that I wanted to get. And that's basically what uh, quarterly is for, is for me to support you guys, um, some of my subscribers that, you know, you're subscribed to me. So I want to give back in addition to being subscribed to you. And it's also for if I plan to do any type of giveaways and things of that nature. Hey, Gracie. Um, so quarterly has 20, 30 and 40. Uh, tech. Hmm. Tech, I think it's getting three. I still haven't decided what I am doing for, or what I, I don't have anything in particular in mind for tech. Let's just say that. Um, the one item that I have been really, really trying to narrow down is a sports lens um, for my camera 
um, cause you know, my, not my husband, I'm sorry. He, he definitely not doing no sports, but my son, because he's in sports and my daughter, she'll start having competitions fairly soon. I wanted to have a sports lens, you know, to get some good shots of them, but I don't know. We'll see. We have 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, and 4, 24, which I'm a long way off on that too. If I choose to do the sports lens. Next is Beauty. Beauty is getting 20, no, it's getting 38. Let's see, one, two, three, okay. So this past week, my son had a haircut appointment. And of course, my husband didn't leave money. Um, well, actually he ended up having to work over that particular day, so he called and wanted to see if I could take him to his appointment and thank goodness I had this beauty envelope because I don't like and I think I've said this before to you know some of you that are new you probably don't know but I hate using my debit card because they charge you that additional fee and then you know of course I, I typically don't carry cash so that was one of the reasons why I started beauty um, so that it can be for those you know instances and not to mention now that i'm back into the office i don't always wear my hair um in uh in braids i sometimes want to get a silk press and i want to make sure that i have the money for that or just some of those small incidentals if we go you know to the hair store and you know there's something that i want to try out or you know some product or something like that so uh anyway we have 50 70 80 91 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So you have 122 in beauty. And I do not have a, a limit set just yet on beauty. Um, I don't have a label on this one. I'm not sure. I think this is sheer. Yes, because I put this in here. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 50, 60, 75. So this is 475 and this is for my daughter's cheer. I do need to pay that. She has... um. She actually have choreography um, today. They did it uh, yesterday and today. So I may, I may go ahead and take it over there today. I don't know, I don't know. Um, so Cheer is getting two. Now this fee for Cheer is just her annual fee. They charge, I think $47. Um, so we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 dollars. And this is annually. It's a $47 annual fee. So I want to make sure that I do have that. And this amount is her monthly fee that we have to pay. And I do think that starting next month, I may have to put a little bit more because she said that she needed uh, cheer shoes and she wants to have like a second bow. They have like the comp bows or competition bows. Uh, one comes with our standard package, but depending on how she wears her hair, she may have to have an additional one. And I think I've said this before, but we are all natural. So sometimes she'll wear her hair in braids. Sometimes she will get a silk press and then we'll add the clip on extensions um so depending on how they want them to wear their hair this year it's been different at the different gym we've uh, well we've only been at one other gym but it, it was different there so we also have our parent meeting today so those are some of the things that they'll be going over um but anyway her shoes and her bow are two of the things that i do know are expenses so i may have to try to put you know something to the side for that so it won't be as big of a hit when we actually need those items um so that is it and i have twenty dollars and this twenty dollars is actually going to my mom i was supposed to give it to her um last week and i forgot to give it to her so when i went to the bank i went ahead and took that money out um because she's been helping out a lot with taking the kids you know where they need to go as far as like um she she actually takes my daughter every wednesday to her her practice and I, i'll pick her up but sometimes my my son he may need to go you know get a haircut or a doctor's appointment because this past week she actually took him to the doctor's appointment um so anyway um that was all as you can see the tray is empty so that is the end of the video i just want to thank you all so much for watching and commenting and subscribing to my channel i really 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 appreciate you all um just make sure that you all go and support our bcl spotlight channels and those channels again are donna joe happy me on a budget 
saving your pennies after budgeting and vanilla budgets and also um make sure that you go over to kayla her etsy shop at ktw planning and budgeting because the say of the promotion the promotional code that she's giving the milling 10 expires at the end of this month so after you like and subscribe this video go over and check out our spotlight channels that's donna joe happy me on a budget saving your pennies after budgeting and vanilla budgets and once you're done with that in no particular order then go over and check out kayla at ktw planning and budgeting um and just get you know something from her shop show her some love and this is you know i was watching um april the other day and i'm sorry april i haven't been able and to everybody really i haven't been able to comment on a lot of videos i've been watching there's something wrong with my computer so <sighs> I've been watching hadn't been able to you know comment the way that I have but she was mentioning um you know that there are some people that may be using the hashtag BCL that are not a part of um I guess like the official BCL um and the reason I even brought this up is because the main thing that I want to say, what, regardless of whether you're a part of the BCL or not, just support people the way that you want them to support you. You know, if you can't, for whatever reason, be a part of the BCL, but you want people to watch your videos, then guess what? Go out and watch their videos, like their videos, subscribe to their videos. You know, for whatever reason, there are people that can't. Maybe they have other obligations or whatever the case may be. They may not be able to, you know, give that full support the way that, you know, know other people may be able to do at this time but the the fact of the matter is we're all here we're all trying to you know do the same thing whether it's to better yourself whether it's to be monetized whatever it, even if it's only for accountability you know but the but what we really really want is for people to support us the way that we want to be supported so anyway I just wanted to go ahead and say that um and I guess, and I'm not sure, I'm a part of the BCL guys, and I'm not even sure where I fall on the list. I'm just kind of, I go out and watch April's videos on Friday so I'll know, you know, which videos to, um, to support for the week. But just a thought, if you guys have any questions for me, um, anything, because I, I've been doing videos for about six months or so, and I try to be as open as possible, but if there are any questions that you guys have for me that you want to know about me, my family, um, anything that I do as it relates to budgeting um any of that um just leave it in the comment section below and maybe i can do a video during my week um whenever that is i'm not even sure when that will be but um i just thought about that just now but anyway um didn't want the video to be too long again thank you guys so much for watching subscribing liking doing all of those things i really do appreciate you guys and i will see you all in the next video